All right, are you ready for some exciting experiments? Not the boring stuff you did in school, but the real stuff we do here on cable television. Whoa, whoa holy smokes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Trust me, I'm a not scientist. clear what's going on exactly. So but we're but we you have some. A glove? <laughs> we're going to do Here's stuff this quick. morning that's going to blow your mind. It's already freaking me out. Uh, Jeffrey Vitacor, who yeah. is the known as the dancing scientist um, and a PhD student at UCLA, and obviously right. kind of a mad genius, is here to explain what the heck is going on. Jeffrey, what are you doing? That over is there? liquid nitrogen, so it's very cold. Today I'm going to talk about a little bit about light bulb technology. Then I got a really cool material we're going to play with here. Okay. This so is what awesome. is this? This can't be good for us. What are you doing here? Uh, it's just really cold, liquid nitrogen. You can do this at home with your kids. Air. Not this one, the second oh, one. Okay, good. So let me show you. <laughs> All right, All right so, so show us what, what, what's, what's unique so about this. So I took this. a light bulb and I actually uh, busted them open. Whoa! Kind that's of like that. Okay, uh, that's a that lamp. One. Uh, that's, the, that's our green room lamp that you just smashed <laughs> there. There's a filament here, right? Uh -huh. Right. And so uh, Edison invented the light bulb 135 years ago. He made the filament out of carbon because it gets very hot, 5,000 degrees. And actually, if I, uh, if I have one here, that's that you let me bust one more open for you. Okay. Let's see if we can get lucky. There we go. You got lucky. Got lucky. So if I turn this on, Whoa. it glows and it goes out real quick. That's it. Right. Because it, there's air here. But here I have liquid nitrogen. So if I take the filament and put it underneath the liquid nitrogen, and you don't encourage your kids to do this, I don't this one at home. Whoa! It glows and glows wow. and glows. That's it awesome. doesn't stop because we're preventing the air from getting in. Now the thing about these light bulbs is they're actually banned uh, in the U.S. starting January 2014. So if you go to the Home Depot, the hardware store, you actually cannot find them anymore. Right. But Amazon.com will get them for you. You can, but they probably come from China. <laughs> so LED bulbs now and those uh, and the CFL, the squirrely, yes, exactly. squiggly lights. Now. Actually, 95 cents of every dollar you use to make this light is actually going towards heat, and only five cents is going toward the actual light. Wow. So actually, I'll show you if I take it out really quickly, it burns out because it runs out of. Uh, Reacts with the oxygen. How cool is that? No, right, wonder, so, no wonder it took Edison thousands of times to get it right. It's incredible. Right. But it's old technology now. Now we have the CFLs, as you just said, compact fluorescence. Four times less energy. It saves you money. Uh, they do have a tiny bit, very tiny bit of mercury inside them. So you have to dispose of them by taking them back to Home Depot. Uh, but, right, not a big deal or anything. Uh, but there's better stuff now. This is an LED bulb. It uses six times less energy. It saves you about 150 bucks. It lasts 20 years. Now, you might be familiar. Maybe you tried them in the past. They weren't so good. But it's improving now. It's actually, I tried no, this I, earlier. It was nice yellow light. Five bucks. They used to be like 25. No joke. We actually oh, just did our whole down. house in those, by the way. Now, what is, this is uh, like this is your, your chip breakfast. dip or yes. what? Yes. So don't do it's the light bulb porridge. experiment at home. This is a non-Newtonian fluid. That sounds crazy. But basically, I mix cornstarch and water with food coloring, and it's a liquid. So if I move my hands through slowly, you see that it's kind of liquidy. Yeah, you put it down yeah. on the table. It looks like a soup. But watch this. Look if I, if I, I hope I don't get your soup wet. But if I hit it real hard. It's solid. Wow. Well, how, well, go ahead. You're gonna no, come on now. That. That's, yeah, that's ahead, crazy. Harder, harder. That, that's all you got. Come on, come Clayton. On. You can't puncture the cornstarch. Well, you got those US Army yeah, Rangers now, back in here. See, if really? I move my fingers through it slowly, it's a liquid. Wow. That is you crazy. You just mix cornstarch wow. and water. It's fun for the kids. It's non-toxic and safe. But this is not useful because it's cornstarch and water. So there's a company out there. Uh, they're called D3O. And they have made this liquid here, this orange goo. It has the same properties, so it's kind of soft and flexible. But if I take a bunch of it and a hammer. Yeah, I saw these guys at the Consumer Electronics Show a few years ago. They hadn't come out so yet. Watch this. Whoa. See so yeah, how it basically solidifies, because when you add the force, those molecules lock together. They get closer together. So here are some oh, applications for it. It's, it's being used in some special forces, uh, body protective gear. Yep. There's a it's used in football pad. helmets. It's used in uh, motorcycle protective equipment. And smartphones. And so now, exactly. I, in fact, out there at the Consumer Electronics Show, I was able to just drop, you know, just drop this phone. Bounces that's right. My, that's my actual phone. Go ahead. Come on. You really, you, you really want to? I got to? insurance on it. Okay. All right. Come hey. on. Oh, yeah. Harder. Well, drop it. Right, I'm going to throw it over drop here. Wide shot. Wide shot. Wide shot. Wide shot. I want to. All right, buddy. It's okay. You, you do it. Do it. Yeah. Oh, that there phone's toast. That's fine. That is my real phone. Amazing. It took it a licking. But it let's take it to the next level. So let's really test this stuff. This is science. All right. Really quickly. An elbow pad and a shovel. Okay. So it's got this material. It's soft and flexible. All right. All right. That. That's all you got? Come on. <laughs> a little well, bit harder. No, I can't. Don't slip up and hit his face. I don't feel it. <laughs> one more. One more. <laughs> all right. Yeah. This is, anyway, that. this is how Tucker You're a good and I prepare. Man, this is how Tucker and I prepare for the show. A little bit of science helps us with technology. Coming up. Republicans. Thank you. That was awesome. Right. Republicans uninvited.